Hey guys and girls, how are you going? Mark Hummer here of course. Today we've got a microphone test, so unusually for me, usually I'm always waffling on about camera settings and little intricate components and perhaps lighting, but today it's all about microphones. And as you can see, I've got two up on the table today. Now I have the traditional ME1 Nikon one that I've been using for quite a bit of time now, and it's been functioning fine, but I thought it was about time I upgraded a little as far as directionality went. So I've got now the as you can see from the case, the Deity, it's the VMic Pro, and I think it's uh, going to be a lot better in quality sound, but also the fact that it is directional, and when in a room where there may be other noises surrounding us and interfering, it'll be nice to have something where I can pinpoint the sound a little bit more so than a stereo microphone, which does pick up pretty much everything. So it's really not so much about things like volume, because all the volume can be adjusted in post quite easily. It's more about how it's picking up the sound, the clarity, crispness, and uh, bass levels, etc. And it may just make the voice sound a lot better. So this is really what I'm hoping for. So we're going to do a comparison test. I'll switch between one and the other. And you can tell me how you go and what you're thinking. So uh, I've used the, this is actually made by the Aperture company, which I buy a lot of lighting and equipment from. But they make a microphone as well. And they actually have a whole department now. Has shifted. They used to have uh, the Aperture brand of microphone and they've decided the Deity Company is like a branch off from them that specifies in high quality audio equipment. So I believe that the quality has upgraded quite a lot. I've used their microphones in the past and I wasn't 100% satisfied with them, but I'm believing that now they've uh, nailed it with this one and it does have very good reports. So I thought I'd try it out, buy it and see how I went. Now this is something I bought online. It cost me about, I think it was 300 Australian dollars. I think it's something like 292 to be exact. Uh, but the one thing I will mention to you, when you purchase it, it does take quite a specific cable. It's the TRRS version of cable, which may not be the same cable as you're used to using with any other product. So just be aware that when you buy the cable, it's a specific cable that's required. Now that's not a big expense. Cables are like, I don't know, 15 to $20. It's not a big deal. But you just make sure you order it. If you order the microphone, make sure you also order the appropriate cabling with it as well. So you can use it for your devices. Now right now I'm recording on the Nikon Z6. And I know from their website that the Nikon cameras are compatible with the system and this microphone. So I know there should be no issue with its quality of recording. Now what I have is I have it set up at 8 out of 10. You notice it has a little dial on the back here. It has its own preamp. So I'm able now to dial in the volume as I wish. And uh, using, uh, of course, some headphones, I can check my sound where I am. And then I can make any minor adjustments I want on the fly without getting out of the seat. So that's sort of an interesting option. In fact, we're talking about uh, cables, etc. This one here, I've got a Sennheiser... Uh, headphone set and it's a great set of headphones it was beautiful sound quality uh, but what I need to bring to your attention is very often cables are very odd this one here for example has a two and a half mil cable that goes in here and then the three and a half mil end of that cable will go into your device so again this is requiring a specific cable you can't just use any you know three and a half mil plug and think it's going to work on every device Various devices need specific cabling. So this one here, as I say, needs a 2.5mm to fit into the slots. You can go left or right side to connect it, and then you plug it into your computer or device however you wish. But it must be the 2.5mm plus a 3.5mm either side. So I bought specific cables for that, and that's what I'm saying here with this one, you'll need a specific cable as well. So again, they're not expensive, just make sure you pick up the right one so you'll have a positive experience. So what I'll do is I'll stop waffling on and I'll get on with the actual test and we'll do a various little comparison side by side to see what the quality difference is. Now to equal it up and fair it up, of course I'm going to make the settings on internally in the microphone different and uh, that'll try and boost up the volume internally in the preamp and the camera to match the same levels as I have in this one that I can do manually on the microphone. So I'm going to of course make all the effort I can to make the test as fair and reasonable as possible without uh, any penalties on either unit. So here we are again, I've uh, re-established connection with the ME1, I've actually disconnected this one completely, just to be fair, so you know I'm not still using the wrong microphone, the opposite one, but we're using the Nikon ME1 now, which is a stereo microphone. Now it has no preamp, as mentioned before, so I've had to adjust the volumes internally in the camera, so I've got it up to 16 out of 20 right now, and that's about a fair comparison based on the fact that this one previously is set internally at about 80%, so I wanted roughly around 80% of volume 
to compare and make it equal. So I believe the sound quality should be pretty much the same and uh, reasonable, but I'm just hoping that this uh, investment I've made pays off and it's, uh, it's a little bit crisper and maybe more richer in the basses in sound. So we'll do a comparison, we'll put them side by side, I'll say something more and then we'll go back to this other microphone. You've heard this one many times before in other videos, so it's not really a novelty, but it's useful to use as a comparative tool. So we're back on again. And here we have now, we're using now the Deity V-Mic Pro again. I've corrected all the settings so it's as equal as I can possibly make it on about 80% of its ability. Now of course it's, they're both very close to me. They'd be less than uh, a foot away, I'd say about 7 or 8 inches from my mouth. So the proximity is really good and that usually helps a lot with the sound quality. So we can compare to what we heard before with what we're hearing now and you let me know what you're thinking. I'll know I'll certainly make an assessment myself and I'll know which one I'll probably be using. But I'm interested to share that with you and hopefully this is helpful. If you like the microphone, I can recommend them. Uh, I think they're a great microphone, the uh, Deity V Mic Pro. I think for its value for money and its features, it's excellent. I certainly like the idea of the uh, dialing the volume setting in the back. I like that it has internally a high and low pass filter setting, so that's very convenient as well. The only thing I would mention now when you purchase it is it doesn't hurt to get a windsock as well. So they're not expensive, you can buy those online quite inexpensively, but a windsock or what they call a dead cat is very handy for an outdoors environment. So I have one for my both of my microphones and I think that they're an essential purchase. So as I was just mentioning about the dead cat as they call them and the uh, wind socks let me just show you what I'm referring to I have a bag of them here because I have many in my collection because you never know when you're going to use them and they are very very handy to have so I just put that aside the bag but this is the thing I'm referring to you can see why they call it a dead cat can't you Meow. <laughs> It's exactly what it looks like, but it's very simple to use. It just slides on and off. So you just take the foam one off It just pulls off and you can put that one straight over and on a windy day <sighs> It deflects all the wind sounds and you don't get that nasty uh, hum and burr and, and crackling sound going on. They come in various different sizes. These both fit these Deity microphones by the way because I've had Aperture products before and they're all pretty much a similar size. This is a smaller version of the same thing so it, it does the same result. It's just a bit more compact and more modest. I had This is actually one that was uh, custom built from a gentleman in Germany who uh, makes them and sells them online and I thought that was a great idea to get something nice and small and compact as well. Sometimes space is essential but it does actually still work brilliantly, make no mistake. And these of course are the various little foam pads you can buy for, well, next to nothing. They're very inexpensive. As you can see, they have holes that just slots in there. Stick it over the microphone on and off again. It's really quite simple. So I just thought I'd run you through the various options I have and uh, I think, you know, a little investment in all the accessories as well is a great thing to do. That way, you know, you're completely covered regardless of the situation.